Hello! Today we are continuing Spiritfarer. Burr, 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 burr. Um, should be fun. Should be some relaxation. I thought I'd stream it since not a lot of interest on YouTube anymore, so. And it is a really cool, cute little game that just gives you all the good feels. Do you like some food? Mm, shall I give you vegetables? Okay, good. <laughs> so, I think... How many spirits do we have now? We have four? We got two sheep. Got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, we got an orchard now as well. I forgot. What is it, Uncle Dearest? Happy with the kitchen? Yeah. You got that done quick, Sprout. Thanks for taking the time. A good kitchen is a good investment. Ooh. You'll see. You won't regret it. Promise. Yeah. Well, my stomach either. Thanks. Well, at least he's happy now. I don't think there's any more upgrades we can do. So we upgraded the kitchen. We've upgraded the loom. Um, we couldn't upgrade this yet. Or there was no upgrade for it. What is it, my love? I'm getting cold all of a sudden. I think I might just be growing a bit tired. Maybe I'm not rested enough yet. I'll just take a little me time and then we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. You're making some fantastic progress, honeybee. Don't give up. Oh, I love her so much. Can I hug her? I want to hug you. Oh. Yes, what is it? There's something else I wanted to talk to you about. Look, I'm still really grateful to you for having allowed me to reside in such a nice cabin. But I must admit, it's just a bit empty. You know me, I spend my life surrounded by pointless and tacky things. But in a house like this one, I believe we could do something very special. Unique. Mm -hmm. With class and coziness. What do you think? A little bit of improving might do the trick. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. I'll leave you to it. No rush. I love Gwen. I love her so much. She's my favorite. Her and Summer are my favorite. Summer especially because she's a snake. And she's vegan. I love that. <laughs> what is it? Would you like some food? Sorry, I just went past you. Would you like a pie? Mm -hmm. No? Oh fuck, I keep forgetting she doesn't like fruit. That's the only downside of you. You don't like fruit. Like, what's up with that? Have some mm -hmm. rice. <laughs> what's for dinner? What do you mean? Didn't I already feed you? Oh. My stomach is rumbling. I see you've got some new equipment in your kitchen. You've got the tools to feed an army. Oh. I need a little pick-me-up. Something that would keep me going for hours. Some pork chops, maybe? Oh. If I had access to my kitchen, my spices and the market back home, I would whip up something. I just don't know what's possible over here. You have to make it up as you go along. Oh. That's what cooking is. Lying doesn't come back to haunt you. Wise words that your great grandma once told me. What a lady! Are yeah, you ready for- yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, I was gonna- <laughs> I want to give him pork chops just so you can hear that in real time because oh it cracked me up do you like pork chops and scream about it do i still have some yes i do here it comes and they are <laughs> Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? <laughs> oh, this is just so good. Oh. Ha! Now I just feel just a bit guilty. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Oh. Look, there was this kid at work. Craig. We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. Oh. All nighters. 
Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. Ooh. I would send Craig on these endless 24 hour grocery store crawls for me. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask for these impossible gets. Saffron, sumac or even anise. Why is anise like an impossible thing? It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Ooh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. With saffron? On both sides of the table. Ooh. To calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. Ooh. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. Ooh. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Oh. Gwendolyn, are you happy now? Oh, oh, oh. Happy? You happy? Mm -hmm. The house looks so much better. As if everything had been designed with my happiness in mind. The textures, the tones, the coziness. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. Look at you listening to me and building such a nice cabin for me. I won't forget this. Oh, I love her. What do you mean? I can go. <laughs> Come on, do it, cat. Ah. <laughs> I mean, right, where's Gwendolyn? What would you like? Yes, what is it? What? Yes? Mm -hmm. Look, Stella, I... I'm sorry. I think I just need some space. Just a bit of time by myself. Mm -hmm. I knew going back to the villa was a bad idea. Sorry, this doesn't have anything to do with you. You've been nothing but great since you found me on that island. Mm -hmm. I just need to be alone for a while. All right, Gwen. We're going to your final resting place, hopefully. Let's um, let's shear the sheep. Uh oh, I can give you sugar cane, but oh, we should cook sugar cane. <laughs> Grace. <laughs> I should probably sleep. I guess. Spirit fairer, fairer or no, I need to sleep too. Here, like my dad's mom had a had a thing for never throwing anything away, which is fine, but not when it goes off. But she would still make you eat it. So one of her things was that I am still traumatized by. <laughs> Is that she made me drink milk that had gone off. Because she paid for it and you will drink it. It's like... <laughs> Actually my whole life was kind of plagued by gone off milk. Because the school dinners were like that. Well, school dinners. You just got milk and a dessert, I think. And the milk was always, always off in the summer. And we always had to drink it. <laughs> Have you seen summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd. She's usually up at first light. Mm -hmm. Something seems very wrong with her house. Maybe all but the shipwright could help us. We just came from there. Everybody's dying. What's wrong with her? Oh no, Summer. Oh. favorite auntie summer <laughs> a little snake friend okay albert um we can we can take the, the sh um we can take the fast travel again so that's not too bad <laughs> oh if i don't know that face it's about that house the green and brown one right have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I can see you from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we're real professionals. 
And it's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship. But that house, oh wow. It had to be the worst job I've ever seen. <laughs> so consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me, what complaints does your passenger have? What? She's sleeping. Oh, of course. That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not mentioning her dry and scaly skin. No, no, she needs a temperature and humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddily designed that there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Some plans and schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy. After all, how can you repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? <laughs> Right, that's pretty cool, you know, my, um, my animal um, carer heart is very happy with that, that they do think of the snake needing, needing the humidity and the temperature, so basically summer's just gone into bromation, which is <laughs> fucking hilarious. Oh, thank you, Lily, thank you so much for subscribing. Eight months already. Uh, time just flies by. It's like every time somebody subs or resubs, I'm like, has it really been that long? Every time. I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Thank you so much. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to see what's needed for her. Jigger. Do I build it? No, I'll probably just have to improve it, right? Where are you? Yeah. Oh, I need glass. Oh, but where am I gonna find glass? Let's put five in for now. Yes! Oh, I'm so stupid. Oh, sorry. Was that too hot? I wasn't even paying attention, actually. How hot do you need it to be? Very hot? Oh, there. Whoa, that is a very small margin. <laughs> That's cheap. Oh, there you go. Yay! We got glass. Wee! Yes! Now I can get Summer what she needs. Woo! Just need to get some oak somewhere. And then we can... Uh, where am I going? <laughs> yeah! There you go. Will she wake up now? Sum sum. Waking. <laughs> Summer. <gasps> there she goes. Ah! Summer. <laughs> St oh. oh, still fuzzy. That's me every morning, son. <laughs> oh, Stella. I think I might have overslept a bit. <laughs> How long have I been sleeping? What? That much? Hibernating, you say? Mm, well, I guess it was bound to happen. I might have been ignoring what my body was trying to tell me. A bad habit of mine. Thank you, Stella, for taking such good care of me. <laughs> uh, what do you want, Summer? Stella, I... I want it. The dream, Stella, they're back. So much stronger than ever thought they could be. These visions. 
I see them now even as I'm awake. The reefs have turned into wafts of ethyl scented smoke. And the rotten fruit formed into the eye of the dragon. Vitreous and sickly. And a coil of arduous rust. Another dragon has awoken. He scares me. But suffering cannot be allowed. You would agree, I'm certain. Let's go help it, shall we? Oh. So there's another dragon? But what about the quartz dragon? We haven't helped him yet. Oh, yeah. Where are you then? Where's this new dragon? Better not be somewhere where I can't reach you. Oh. There's the quartz dragon. Where's the other one then? Can't go there. Uh, can't go anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm gonna go to Francis real quick. See if he has anything that I need. Oh! 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 Where is she? New quest? I must be off. Is this goodbye? Oh, Gwen isn't here. Yeah. Oh, maybe she went to an island somewhere. Where I do not know. Does she know any place in this world? Oh, I guess she went back home. She just left in the middle of the night. Mm, Gwen, but you're my favorite. I don't want you to be the first to go. I guess we need to go back to her father's old estate. No, I don't want to talk to you. Uncle. Would you like a fisherman's pie? Oh. Yes. Oh. Alright. Oh, Gwen, I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> oh, Stella. Oh, I can get to the top of her house now, though. Mm -hmm. Stella! I... I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry I even considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliché to boot. Mm -hmm. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm -hmm. To decide on my own terms how I'd go. And not let myself be taken away. I've been weak. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, the irony. Crap. I feel so selfish now. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, I wish I could have been like you. But rarely. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, crap. Hug me now. Aww. Huh? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Oh, Gwen. So you're not... What do you want to do now, though, Gwenny? Um, how do I see the quests there? Talk to Gwen on your boat. Uh, I don't want to. I have a bad feeling about it. Anyway, I want to go up here first. Um, where am I? Oh, yeah, I need to follow the light. Oh. Because there was a thing that I could get on her roof. So I want to get that real quick. Oh, further up. Um. Where 
there too then? Oh, all the way down. I mean, it must be a nightmare to live in this house if you have to go up like this every time. Oh, her dad's spirit disappeared. Oh, I can't get to it still. What? Anyway, let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Daffodil. She's stuck in the house. <laughs> let's go then. Later, Daff. Oh, I don't want to know what she's going to say. Oh, Gwen. Oh, Gwenny. Mm -hmm. Look, this will come as a shock. But I'm ready to leave. I just can't fight it anymore. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Mm -hmm. Bring me to the Evador, where you met Sharon. I'm ready. I think. No! <laughs> no! I know I, I know I said I wanted the spirit flower, but <laughs> not Gwen. Why Gwen of all of them? I've been waiting for that moment to arrive sooner or later. Will you accompany me, my friend? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, why is why is the sea red? Oh! Why is the sea red? I don't like it. Oh, everybody's coming to say goodbye! <laughs> There's something I wanted to give mm -hmm. you. I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Here it mm -hmm. is, my old lighter. I haven't thought about this old thing in a while. It barely works. Mm -hmm. I stole it off father when I was 12. Please, use it to remember me. Mm -hmm. In the good times, in the bad times. They exist together, mm -hmm. intertwined. If there's one thing you learned from me, it should be that. Everybody stir. <laughs> the price I pay for a spirit flower. Me and my big moot. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now. You know me. I've never been one to dwell on the past. Mm -hmm. Mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me. Like an irrepressible wave of resentment. I hear you. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect. And I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. Mm -hmm. You know what I've always said? People come and go, but don't pay attention to each other. Mm -hmm. They never really did. That lives are only ever parallel, or chastened at best. Mm -hmm. Well, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. I can see that now. And you're the proof of it. And not just you, but mom cared as well, mm -hmm. in her own way. And others here. Even given the circumstances, I still don't know about father. Mm -hmm. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength left in me. Would that make me a better person? Mm -hmm. Would that make a difference? Maybe. But after all mm -hmm. this, I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I have my best friend by my side. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. I am fine. Ah. I'm not fine. <laughs> I 
Ahem. <clears throat> I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. Mm -hmm. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. Mm -hmm. My shades were too opaque. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Oh, Gwen. Why you? <laughs> You're the one I connected with most, and now you go. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here. Even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt and shaking my ego. Mm -hmm. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, my friend. Mm -hmm. See you there. Mm -hmm. Aww. Hmm. They make constellations. <laughs> if only that was true in real life, right? Oh! So this is new. I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh! I've never done this before, so I don't know. What's this? Oh! Okay. Oh! Memories? Okay. <laughs> this- Ah! This is very reminiscent of the- uh, Sorry. Should be all magical and I just splash around like an idiot. Uh, very reminiscent of Gree. These are all humans, though. So does that mean that Gwen is not really um, a deer, but she's actually a human? Let's take on deer at four. Whoa! Wow, how gree like is this? I mean, I'm not mad. Gree was fantastic. Good jumper. So what went wrong then? These are all happy memories so far. Finally meet face to face. For such a long time I have been watching you, Stella. Close yet far. You've kept your distance, but you knew I was there. Hidden in every shadow, skulking in every silence. Since the very beginning I have been a part of you. Even as my existence was but a foreign thought, and as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited, silently. Your joy, your pride, 
your happiness, moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned, and at last, you have found me. Go now, for I have not yet fully awoken. Resume your duties. Carry on your graceful dance. We'll meet again soon, Spirit Fairy. Okay. So sweet and sad. I didn't know they would leave us. Yeah, that's our whole. That that was the the quest we were given at the very beginning. Remember, is to f s to fare the spirits across to the other side. That's our job. I think chat needs a hug, right? <laughs> Everybody hug each other. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 